Hi, it's Sarah. Today I've been thinking about um, just the amount of time that women, especially heterosexual women, but I think probably women in our culture in general, because of the power dynamics between men and women that have been in place for such a long time, um, why women allow so much of their conversation and so much of their thought process and so much of their feeling content and psychic space to be consumed by thoughts about men or conversations about men or, um, uh, you know, wanting to find a man or um, not getting on with their lives until that man thing is handled. Uh, I've annoyed some of my friends recently by stopping them in conversations where they're going on and on about some new man or, you know, just by just by the merit of what they talk about, you know, it's about this guy and about this guy and about that guy and about his life and what's going on in his life, which to tell you the truth, I don't know those people and I don't really care about all the specifics of their lives. Um, and I don't really want to hear about them. I really want to hear about what's going on with my friend and, you know, her, you know, life and what she's feels inspired and compelled by. Um, I really don't want to hear about that other stuff because uh, I don't know those people. And um, recently, um, I've been doing improv and really loving it. And the the local improv place in um, San Francisco, Bats Improv, Bay Area Theater Sports, they have a show that they're doing called uh, The Beck test b-e-c-h-d-e-l which evidently is you may know is a test that they do for films um, to see whether uh, a, a movie would be considered a woman's oriented film <laughs> although that's pretty nebulous but um, and the test the Bechdel test is um, are there scenes where there are two women speaking to one another about something other than a man and I guess the test was formulated because that is pretty novel in uh, movies and um, you know which is just another giant part of our enculturation you know what gets represented in the movies is usually pretty representative of at least the unconscious way that we do life um, so I've just been feeling like, um, you know, I'm kind of tired of uh, having men take up so much of my psychic space and not from any fault of men. Men aren't doing it. Um, it's, it's my conditioning. It's me being aware of the degree to which I let my experience, my happiness, my sense of... Um, you know, what's right in my world be um, influenced and affected by what's going on with my husband or, you know, his level of um, suffering or difficulty or, um, you know, whatever his process is, which, you know, isn't really my business. And, um, and I certainly can't wait to get on with my life until he's you know, I feel like he's in some, you know, particular place, which is absolutely my agenda, not his. Um, so, you know, it's imbalanced in both directions. And um, then I started thinking, well, you know, what are some of the drivers that would make this uh, the case that, that women allow so much of their conversation and psychic space, heterosexual women primarily, um, 
to be consumed by uh, the men in their life or what's going on with men in their life or, you know, do they have a man in their life or all that. And it occurred to me that, you know, part of probably one of the drivers is economics. You know, let's just be real. We still, in, in the United States, women still make 70 cents on the dollar to compared with what men make. So, you know, and that's certainly been worse in the past. So in terms of messages we may have gotten from our mothers and our, you know, female role models, um, the idea of having a man in your life uh, is an economic um, consideration. You know, it's not just about, you know, having a partner. There's the, you know, uh, he makes more money and um, getting, you know, linking up with somebody, you know, just to have our funds in common and and have um, a better, uh, uh, you know, lifestyle in terms of, uh, you know, money that's available for handling needs. Um, you know, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty compelling uh, piece of the puzzle to uh, want to have a man in your life because, um, you know, he makes more money and, um, you know, you're going to be better off economically. So I think that's another driver. I don't think it's uh, very conscious, but I think it's um, a part of the picture. And, you know, that's just old and tired. God, are we ever going to get that, the... Um, parity in terms of um, in terms of uh, money and salary are we is that thing ever going to get handled can we just get that thing handled please so anyway that's my observation and um, be interested to hear what you think have a great day bye